Now let's talk about switching spaces. So that's the most important feature of this tool. Um, as if you watch the video so far, you notice that there is a few spaces to choose from. Um, and uh, you can do this in several ways. Like if I create, let's say create a control for this. I don't need to overthink too much. I can uh, change spaces uh, afterwards. So I'm gonna just create a uh, world space for now. And, um, and if I wanna change that to something else, I have a few ways to do it. In the right click menu here, I can choose any one of those. So let's, let's say object space. Now it's an object space. I'm gonna create one for this control. It makes more sense, like let's say world space. So world space, as I mentioned before, it's not going to, it's going to have its own animation uh, without anything interfering in it. Not even the master control will remove it anymore. But if I change that to object space, it's back to the original one that the real control is. And also in relative space will be uh, relative to something else. Let's say I'll create a sphere somewhere here. And then I'm gonna put this one relative to this uh, relative to this sphere. And now if I move just the sphere, it's going to move control. And on the keys, I still like animation is still the same. Mm. And uh, you can also take a look at the shortcuts here. So there are some spaces that you can uh, change with a shortcut. For example, the object space is shift click. So if I have this selected and shift click button, it's gonna change to object space again. So it's not depending on the sphere anymore and so on. And the same thing like you can do with this here on the uh, temp controls panel. And on the temp controls panel, there's an extra thing that you can do to, uh, you, you can unlock the position and orientation spaces and change that. So for example, let's say it's in position, it's in object space, but I'm gonna put the orientation to the sphere there. And now, let's look at what happens. If I move the sphere, Nothing's going to change anything, but if I rotate it, it's now obeying that. So you can play around with those uh, settings. Let's talk about the available spaces. So the most common one is world space. So that's the one where the control doesn't follow anything. I'll open the panel here. Let's put it in world space for now. And as you can see, if I move this, it's not going to affect anything. And that's good to get very clean animation curves to uh, work with that are not dependent on anything. Uh, the other one is object space. Object space will, will be the same space that this guy was before the parent node of this one, to be more, more precise. So that one will, will follow whatever the control was following. <clears throat> Relative space can be a space for anything in the scene. So it can be like a sphere as I, mean, as I showed you before, it could be uh, the hands, could be in the space of the head or one character can be in the space of another and things like that. Camera space will put the control 
in the current camera space or if if you select a camera it's going to pick that one so take a look at what happens if I travel with the camera here it's just the control is just following so we got some pretty weird stuff going on here you can take a look at the examples video to see what can do useful things you can do with that child space is similar to um, if you parent a locator to something so um, let's see so now the control is not gonna drive anything it's just like to to be used as a reference so you can put it here and the control is actually going to follow the main control the, the control the recontrol that you put it in and the last but not least the grab and release space so again this one i'm going to talk a little bit more about uh, here.